There is a story that um, Damien Hirst's artworks, which you say, are dead animals in formaldehyde um, in these glass cases have been leaking noxious fumes through the seams and some scientists went along to his retrospective exhibition at Tate in 2012 uh, undercover and <laughs> used their, their Geiger counters, whatever they're using, to discover that there were more particles going into the air that were good, that was good fit for, for people. They... they Hasten to add that uh, if you were just a visitor to the exhibition, you'd be fine. But for the gallery assistants who are in there for hours and hours and hours a day, they might come uh, to some harm, which which actually, really? you know... So it's, it's potentially quite a serious thing. Then. Well, it's not great, is it? Um, if, you're, you know, if you're being exposed to carcinogenic fumes for hours on end <laughs> and these scientists are saying um, and are alleging that they could cause great harm, and I should say uh, could, I mean... It's not news in a way that Damien Hirst's artworks disintegrate and leak. This is a story been going around since at least 2007. Mm. But the question, I suppose, is, Justin, if you are having something in, in a gallery which millions of people are going to be viewing quite close up and you know that it contains tricky materials and formaldehyde, of course, is a tricky material, did they do enough work to make sure that they were comfortable that no fumes could possibly be coming out yeah. of the seams of those artworks?